Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Simple Stories Design Team. And I'm super excited to share this process with y'all today. Um, it was a designer's choice for this assignment, so I chose to use the Trail Mix collection. And I love it, and I had the perfect photo for it. Um, my son, or my oldest son, um, had some of his friends go out with him to California to stay with his dad and his brother. And um, they went hiking, and they found... I forget where these trails are. Oh, I can't even remember where they're, uh, where, what it's called. Um, but anyways, my oldest son, he is, a, is scared of heights. And when he sent me this photo, he had, you know, obviously he's on top of this huge rock where there's like, uh, the bottom of a waterfall. And I told him, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. Look at you. Like he is like really afraid of heights. So I was super proud of him that he sat up there on that rock and it's such a gorgeous photo. So anyways, this collection was perfect for it. Uh, so I trimmed down a few papers. Um, the green, like wood grain paper is mountain explorers. And I thought that would be the perfect, um, background or mat for the other pattern papers. And I used the three by four elements and the so outdoorsy 12 by 12 papers. So I just cut them down into panels. Um, the green, wood grain paper is uh, a three by nine. And then I, I am horrible at measuring. I just eyeball it. I think I took maybe a quarter inch off and um, trimmed the other papers just to fit like right on top of it. So just a, you know, a basic mat. Um, so for my title, I used one of the foam stickers. Uh, I love uh, that font and the fact that it's so large and fits perfectly like right on top of my photo. So it's uh, my full title is Explore Outdoors. I used the alphas from the sticker book just to finish up that title. And then I pulled out the journal bits, which I've said this before in a lot of my Simple Stories process videos. The journal bits pack is one of my favorites to embellish with because there's so many great pieces in there and um, they make really great layering bits. So I pulled out a few of the, they kind of look like ribbons. Um, like, you know, like award ribbons. And I use those as like foundation pieces. And then I'm just layering up with additional like journal bits, um, bits and pieces. I'm pulling in some of the chipboard stickers. Um, I'm just having fun, uh, you know, layering everything up and building my embellishment clusters. So, um, I'm not in my craft room like as much as I used to be. I used to be in my craft, craft room every day. Um, but so when I do get to create, uh, it's just so special and it's just awesome because I get to still be creative, um, which is mainly at night when my uh, baby is asleep. So it just makes making these pages, you know, extra special. Um, not like the others weren't special, but be, you know, it's just a treat to be able to go into my room for a little bit. And I love it. So I had a really fun time making this and, um, you know, building my clusters or just embellishing. Cause you know, that's my favorite part other than like mixed media. Um, so I'm finishing off with, uh, some of these decorative brads and then I am going to add some enamel dots. Um, I love that map. I kind of just staggered my clusters. I am going to add journaling. I think I cut that part out. Um, and I usually stray away from journaling like on camera or like in my photos because I feel like my handwriting just messes it up. And I've talked to a few crafty friends and they're like, and they said, you know, who cares? It, you know, it's your handwriting. You made the page. It's okay. Um, but, but I did opt to leave it in and um, I'm glad that I did. So I'm going to finish uh, this off with a few cardstock stickers, like those tiny phrase stickers. And I think that's it. Or no, I am going to add, add the enamel dots. Um, but yeah, I really like how this page turned out. I did add some twine through those uh, ribbons and I think that's about it. So I am going to uh, show you all up close and then stay tuned for some final photos. But thank you so much again for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.